What's up guys, it's Mike here from The Wall Street Image and today's video is gonna be a little bit different than usual. Today I'm gonna do a tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Michael Sanford and if you're new to the channel, here primarily we focus on how to grow your business. We talk about videography, photography, and we also talk about gear and editing from time to time. And this is one of those videos that I'm actually gonna show you how I did a particular effect on my last video. And if you have not seen that video, I'll link it up above, but here's a short clip of it. I'm talk to you guys about one of the biggest mistakes that I've ever made in filmmaking. And as a matter of fact, it actually happened just recently wait bigger than the time that you forgot to plug up the microphone <laughs> yeah it was bigger than that <laughs> pretty cool right i know it's kind of weird and trippy talking to yourself and so i had a lot of people asking me how did i do that particular effect when they saw it on facebook and some people saw it on youtube a lot of people missed the whole message and were asking me hey what about that effect though? And so it really wasn't that hard of an effect. It actually took me two times to do it. Now, needless to say, there are a couple of things that you're gonna need when you're actually shooting the footage for this video. The first thing that you're gonna need is a tripod. It's gonna be impossible to pull this off if you do not have some stable footage. So as you can see, I have my camera set up over there with a tripod against the wall. And so the next thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a wide angle lens for your camera. It's gonna be impossible to pull this off if you're shooting on what I'm shooting on right now. And so if you're shooting on a full frame camera, you need something like a 24 or something wider. If you're like me and you're shooting on a micro four thirds camera, you're gonna need something like a 12 millimeter in order to fit everything that you need in the frame. As you can see in my footage, I actually did not frame everything absolutely right. I kind of cut off the shoulders because I had a little bit of junk over on the side, but that's neither here nor there. And the only other thing that you really have to worry about when you're shooting a video like this is your lighting. And I'll talk about that more as we jump into the edit. And so I just wanna show you guys the editing process and I primarily use Final Cut Pro, which is my editing software of choice. So we're gonna jump over into Final Cut and I'm gonna show you how to do this particular edit. All right, so now we've opened up a new project in Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, I have my two clips that I'm gonna be using pulled all the way down into the timeline. And so this first clip is just of me here on the left-hand side. And here is the second clip. And that's just me talking to myself or actually talking to nobody on the right-hand side. Um, and so what I actually did was I recorded the left-hand side first. And on my phone, I recorded uh, what I was actually saying so that when I got to my second part, I could actually just listen to the pauses and the dialogue and then respond to it. And so once you have your two clips recorded, you want to pull them over into Final Cut Pro. You're going to take your second clip and you're going to just pull it above your first clip. Now, for those of you who may be new to video editing, um, if you've never um, used uh, multiple videos before overlapping each other, um, you just need to know that the video that's going to be on top is going to be the one that's shown. And so the video that's on the bottom is going to be underneath that. So what we're going to have to do is we have to get this part of our video that's on the top. We got to get that removed. And the way that we do that, we're going to go over here to our effects tab. And then we're gonna go down to mask. And you have a couple different options here. The one that we wanna select is the draw mask. And we're gonna take the draw mask and we're gonna put it on top of our footage. And what it's gonna allow us to do, you're gonna have a couple of options over here. And you're gonna take this and you're gonna just draw points that you want to mask out. And so, because I want this part to be showing, that's the part that I wanna keep. So I'll just start here. And I got a little bit of the microphone there, so we'll just kinda go around that. And if I change this to 50%, I'll be able to go here and 
just want to mask around yourself. And the reason I actually put this book bag here, uh, I didn't just put it there for no reason. Um, I actually had to record this video twice, like I mentioned before. And that was because the way I had the light set up, when I was actually masking this part out, there was differences in the light because on the first video, um, the light was actually being blocked. And so it cast a shadow right here. Um, and so uh, it didn't really look right when I was masking it. You had a part right here that didn't have a shadow. Then you had a part right here uh, that did. So I had to put that book back there um, just to kind of cast the illusion that I was still sitting in the chair. So when I masked it out, it didn't make a big difference. So we're just going to go here. And then we're going to click on our last control point. And so there you go. You can see what that has actually done is it has kept only the portion that I've masked inside of this particular video. And underneath that, it pulls in what is underneath. And so now you have two of me, huh, two mics. And so what you do is you render that out and you have something that looks like this. Pretty simple. And so there you have it. You know how to clone yourself in your video projects. So guys, as always, I hope this video has been helpful and I would love to see you use this particular effect in your videos. And make sure that you leave a comment letting us know whether or not this tip was helpful or not. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And as always, guys, we will talk to you soon.